everybody gets 168 hours in their week. And the people that manage the time the best, time is your most valuable resource. And they spend that time building other resources so they can compound and compound and compound and compound and compound. The people that start that process early are the people that are going to have the best outcomes in life, period. Josh says, hi, Derek. Um, I think the way you view goals is very wise and insightful. If you can accomplish your goals by yourself, they must be too small. That's a fact. Reach for the stars to touch the moon. Even though your current goals may be distant, you need to have the ability to push past and always expand those limits by looking farther uh, than what you can currently fathom. Well, I, I don't disagree, okay? So I, 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 I've seen two different types of psychology, and I'm not saying they're right or wrong, okay? But this whole thing of, you know, shoot for the stars and at least you'll land on the moon. I don't really think that way too much. I, I, I spend, I, I'm not saying it's wrong. If it works for you, I, if it works for you, then it works. If, the, if, if that type of psychology gets you to the results, it lets you refocus and set a new, you know, extreme high level goal and get results that you're happy with and then set a new one and get better results and so on. If, you know, if that works for you, then I guess do it. I try to be very realistic. Uh, I don't I don't put a lot of hype in my head of like, I'll shoot for the stars and at least I'll land on the moon. Um, some people do. I know successful people that think that way and it's worked out for them. And, I, and that's why I don't criticize it. If it works for you, that's fine. I try to look at things probably more like a lot of the engineer types here do. I, I take a look at it and I think, well, um, if I wanted to get to there, what would have to be true one step before that? And if I, if, and what would have to be true one step before that and one step before that? And I just kind of want to backwards engineer things like from where I'm at right now to where I'd like to be, what would that path have to look like? What are the things that I have control over? What are the variables that I don't have control over? How can I try to control them anyway? <laughs> and so on. And I, I try to think very methodically of... Um, and, and, you, and you don't always see the answer. So that thing, the thing that you said at the end there about um, looking farther than you can currently fathom, that's true, and that's not hyperbole, it's just fact. Um, but you know if you're directionally correct, it's like, you know, I know I'm moving in the right direction. I know there's no circumstance in the future which I would wish to be, you know, more, more poor or dumb or have, you know, less resources in general. So if you're, if you're moving in a direction that's gathering resources, that's, uh, you know, accumulating tools and resources that are going to make your future brighter, then there's no downside. You're still, you're still doing the right things, and the path will be more clear as you go, as you travel down the path um, and accumulate more resources. It'll be more clear what to do next and more clear what to do next and so on. So um, I try to think about it as realistically as possible. If you need a little hype to get through your day, okay. But don't get sucked into other people's hype. Like you got to be your own cheerleader. You got to set the goal yourself. You got to be a big adult. You got to set the goal like a big boy or a big girl. Okay. And then you got to live with the consequences. You know, if you, if you don't get what you want, you got to look in the mirror and say, well, how did I fuck it up? Where did I fuck up? What can I do better? And you got to go do it. Not tomorrow, right now. Mr. Tran says, hello, Derek. I'm having too many projects on hand, not enough time and energy for them, but I also don't want to put a cap on my limit either. Do you have advice on how you manage your time, energy, and projects while still pushing your limit to grow? Appreciate your answer, sir. Um, sleep less? I don't know. I, I don't sleep eight hours, folks. I, and I, I don't have to do a damn thing I don't want to anymore. And I don't have time to sleep eight hours. I got, I got too many things on my mind. I got too many opportunities. It doesn't even feel stressful to me. It's just like, it, it feel, I'm overwhelmed with so many good opportunities. I, I don't want to say no. Um, frankly, I'm overwhelmed with so many extraordinary, like unbelievably good opportunities that I don't have time for just good opportunities. And, you know, it turns into some, some awkward moments once in a while where, um, you know, people, people that I'm friends with, they're like, and they're nice people and the people that I care about and the people that I, that I like and I respect, but they want to say, you know, oh, hey, you know, let's, let's chat on the phone. I'm like, you know, what can I help you with? They're like, oh, nothing. I just wanted to catch up. It's like, 
I don't, I don't have time to have casual chats. I don't have time to do normal people shit. I'm, I'm not doing normal people. I don't have normal people goals, so I don't have time to do more normal people shit. Uh, I, you know, I, I never want to be alienating to people that have, uh, you know, helped me or contributed to my life. Uh, people that I think of as friends, people, you know, if, if you got a real problem, I'm here for you, buddies. <laughs> I'm here for you. <laughs> but if you want to chat about the weather, I don't, I don't have time for that shit. So you, you have to make some decisions like that of, um, you know, what do you want to spend your time doing? And what Flex said is true is that I, I think about business things all day. I, I think about stocks. I think about business. I'm managing construction. I'm managing a significant stock portfolio. I manage this business. Um, and then I go do a lot of time training MMA. And then I go hit some weights. And um, it's a lot. There's a lot of things. It's, it's, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot. You're physically you know, fatigued. Your, your muscles are sore. Uh, you have aches and pains from training. And that's life. And, you know, but you're going to have to, you're going to have to manage your time. Like the, everybody gets 168 hours. You know, maybe write this down folks, you know, winners and losers, poor people, rich people, wherever you're from on earth, everybody gets 168 hours in their week, 24 times seven, 168 hours. And the people that manage the time, the best time is your most valuable resource. And the people that manage that time the best and they spend that time building other resources so they can compound and compound and compound and compound and compound for days and weeks and months and years and decades, the people that start that process early and engage in that most intelligently and diligently are the people that are going to have the best outcomes in life, period. And if you try to figure it all out by yourself, if you could have done it by yourself, you would have done it ready. So the best way to accomplish things, the you know, best way to, the best shortcut to save time is find somebody who already did what you want to do. You make yourself useful to that person so you can ask them intelligent questions that are going to make your life significantly better. That's what mentorship is. That's the best shortcut in life. Having a great mentor, a great coach is the best shortcut in life. It's the closest thing to a guarantee of success. All right? But then you got to put in the work. And if you want to say yes to big things, you're going to have to say no to most small things. So if you want to say yes to a couple big things, you're going to have to say no to all the small things. You got to say no a lot and mean it. So you're, you got to guard your time. It's your most valuable asset. And you got to spend that time creating more resources and more assets. And the people that do that are going to win. And the people that don't do that are going to make coffee for the winners. And that's how life is. So you got a decision where you want to be in that food chain. And, you know, you got to work harder. If you want to have, if you want to have the best things, you have to work harder than the other people. It's not going to be a comfortable life. It's going to be comfortable later. It's going to be very uncomfortable in the short term and the midterm. It's going to be very uncomfortable. You got to work harder for longer and without seeing immediate results and compound the gains and compound the gains, compound the intellectual gains, compound the financial gains, compound the social gains. And later in life, you know, a decade or so later, you'll see the synergy between those three things and you'll be like, holy shit, things turned out even better than I thought. And you should celebrate for five or 10 minutes. When you have that epiphany, take, take five minutes to celebrate. And then think to yourself, holy shit, if I could do that, what else could I do? And then you got to get back to work. Some people are confused. They say, Derek, Derek, what is the Ten Commandments of Wealth? Not the Ten Maybes of Wealth. It's the Ten Core Things that you're going to need to know about in detail if you'd like to accumulate significant wealth in your lifetime. Click this link up here to find more information exactly what is the Ten Commandments of Wealth, how is the program structured, what's inside of it, how are you going to benefit from it. If you're doing well already and you'd like to do better, click that link and find out more. There's over 100 hours of content in this program. I've interviewed dozens, dozens of world champions that shared what it took for them to win, to be the top, top, top Hall of Fame athletes in their respective areas. And I brought a lot of other superstars in there from business, from legal, people that are real world entrepreneurs that made serious money as I have myself. 
We all share with you what are the foundations you're going to need to know if you want to be successful yourself. Be a chooser, not a loser. Click that link, find out more. I'll see you inside.